Hey, how's it going everyone? This is DCSU81 and today I'm going to do a very quick comparisons for this Hush Superman versus this Cyborg Superman from the Return of Superman. Okay, so I know that this is actually not supposed to happen, I mean the comparison itself because I just realized that this Superman is not even from the Return of Superman. It's actually a Hush Superman, so it's not fair to do a comparison because they are both from a different series altogether. But the reason why I want to compare is I think some of you actually asked and even myself is wondering whether this Cyborg Superman is actually reusing this Hush Superman body. So it's a very quick comparison on the overall look only. I won't do the articulations, the accessories comparison. Maybe yes for skill but not the rest. Okay, so it's a very quick comparison to show you guys. So I would believe that it is using the same body mold for this Hush Superman because as you can see, is of very much the same yes even the legs looks very much the same of course they do some modifications on the legs to include the uh, metal parts here yep and other than that even the superman logo is actually repainted to be more vibrant as you can see and yeah even the pants as well is using a brighter red for this cyborg superman but the rest of it is very very much the same Yes, you can see the muscle of the arm is very similar as well. Even the cutting of the muscles is exactly the same. Okay, and the next one is I would like to go to the head. So we can see that the head is also, if you forget about the hair, it, because the hair, they did do some modification. For this one, it's actually going to the left side. But for this Cyber Superman, it's going to the right. It's flowing to the right. So you can see the the, <laughs> the fringe that is coming down from the hair is on this way, going to the left. But for this Cyber Superman, it's actually pointing to the right because they have to cut off the part here for the uh, endoskeleton part. I'm a cybernetic organism, living tissue over a metal endoskeleton. Sorry, I'm actually using a Terminator terminology. Yeah, but you can see if you uh, put aside the hair and you just look at the eyes part itself, is actually very very identical i think they're using this uh face actually it's the same face they just cut it off but it's still a big modification especially on the hair portion you can see the hair is actually quite different there and next i would like to go into the cape itself in my review for the cyborg superman i did mention that the cape is actually of a much better quality and i am not wrong actually you can see that the cape for this hush superman is <laughs> very very thin first of all it's very thin and the material isn't that good uh, in terms of um just doesn't feel that quality and they don't have a bandy wire on the below it's just at the side here yeah but this does uh one thing good is that it actually let the cape to flow down very naturally like a, a dripping on the body itself but this one is actually a lot better. I'm not sure if it shows on the camera. You can really see the quality is altogether different. Okay, so this one is something uh, much better. I would say I hope they use this material for all the upcoming Superman. Yes, this that will be absolutely great. Okay, so in overall, I would say that they did reuse the body, but they do a lot of repainting uh, modifications to include the metal parts and the head. Also, they actually do something else. And the cape is a totally different one in terms of the materials. And let's see about the height. Uh, I think the Cyborg Superman somehow is slightly taller. Maybe uh, the leg is longer. Yeah, you can see that the legs is actually slightly longer for the Cyborg Superman, which I'm fine about. So in a way, you can say that this Cyborg Superman is still something new. I just can't wait for the Steel Superman to come out. And speaking about Steel, when I do some googling of pictures, I did notice these pictures that you can see now. Is it a leak picture? Because this is exactly the back of the box for the Mayfax. But it hasn't been released yet. So somehow I think they actually just leaked out some of the <laughs> like a teaser pictures of the back of the box which looks pretty good. Just can't wait for it to come out. So I do hope that this video do give you some insight of what's the difference between these two Superman even though they are both from a different series. And I do hope that you enjoy this comparison and I'll catch you again in my next video.